Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Lopez. This is a video for the managerial accounting class at Union University. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about target costing. So what is target co costing? The definition of target costing is that it is a system under which a company plans in advance for the price points, product costs, and margins that it wants to achieve for a new product. With target costing, a management team has a powerful tool for continually monitoring products from the moment they enter in design phase and to the product life cycles. This is considered one of the most important tools for achieving consistent profitability in the manufacturing environment. Uh, target costing has a simple formula. The formula is, is that target costing equals selling price minus profit margin. In the right, you can see a little illustration of this formula. So there are four steps in the target costing process. Uh, the first step is to conduct a research. Uh, this is to review the marketplace in which the company wants to sell the product. So the design team needs to determine the sets of product features that the customers are most likely to buy and how much they're going to pay for these features. So in the end of this process, the team is going to have a good idea of the target price at which they can sell this product. The second uh, step is to calculate the maximum cost that when the formula that I explained in the last slide, it's used. So the company provides the design team with a mandate gross margin that's it's proposed product must earn. Uh, the third step is the, to engineer the product. In this step, the engineers and the procurement personnel on the team now take a leading role in creating the product. The fourth and last step is called ongoing activities. The team now enters into a new phase of reduction product costs, which continues for the life of this, this product. Um, so this is a really important uh, step because in a market, as the competition increase, this cost reductions is going to be essential to further reduce price. So. If there are more competition, the price uh, probably is going to drop and you want to maintain the same uh, gross profits that you determined in the beginning. There are two cost reduction efforts uh, that the design team uh, uses. The first one is tied to components. So the design team allocates the cost reduction goal among the various product company, components. This product is commonly used when a company is simply trying to refresh an existing product for a new version and wants to retain the same underlying product structure. The second, uh, it's called tie, tie to features. Uh, the product team allocates the cost reduction among various product features which focuses attention away from any product designs that may have. Uh, this approach tends to achieve a more radical cost reduction, but also requires more time to design. Um, target costing is most applicable to companies that compete by continually issuing a stream of new and up-to-date or up-to-date products into the markets. So for them, target costing is key to survival. But target costing is less necessary for those companies that have small numbers of legacy products that require, require minimal updates. Also, target costing has limited application in the service business where labor comprises the primi primary cost. In conclusion, target cost is an excellent tool for planning a suite of products that have high levels of profitability. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it.
and I hope that you learned something about target costing. Thank you.